I would like to insert another clip into the timeline, and I would like to position it directly at the end of the previous clip. To position the cursor at the exact end point of this clip, I can either move it with the mouse, and you can see how it locates to this end position when moving it, and in doing so, I am at the exact position that my next clip should be placed. For this to happen, however, you have to be certain that the snap to event function is activated via this magnet icon. If this is deactivated, it would be hard to find the exact end position with the mouse, and you can end up splitting or cutting the end off of a clip. So always make sure, if you wish to place items at the borders of objects, that the snap function is activated. After the cursor has been correctly positioned, I will load the next required clip into my preview window by double clicking it, and then I quickly preview it. It's Vincent, <laughs> I have realized that I only want to use the video data from this clip and not the audio data, and so we can now see how to use just the image data from a video. This occurs via the mapping section, in that we have this symbol for video and this one for audio, and by clicking the audio symbol, the symbol is darkened, and on import, the audio data will be ignored. I could also use the audio button here if I had multiple tracks, and it would be deactivated for all tracks if I use these functions here. So I will use overwrite to timeline, and then by clicking here, I will select to view the complete timeline. And I can see that my clip is here, but no audio data has been imported for that clip so we just have the video data. Of course, I can test this yet again by playing from my timeline. <laughs> 